Hey what's up guys, Ultimate Henry Long here bringing you a 3 part tutorial series covering the facial, body painting as well as drawing the Killer Croc hoodie design. Now making this tutorial, I have realised that there is already a Killer Croc makeup tutorial by Claire Dellis Art which I have linked below. However, due to its complexity and detail, it would take almost 10 hours to complete a chest, face and hand tutorial. This video was made solely for people who wanted to take the Killer Croc cosplay to conventions while getting enough sleep for the day after. Well, let's get started. Well first of all, you want to gel your hair up to stop the brush from getting in your way while painting. I am using the moose head defining paste as seen here. Make sure to gel up all the edges of your hair so strands won't fall down on your forehead while painting as that could create some complexities. Once you're done gelling your hair up, it's now time to apply the primer. I am using the Rimmel Fix and Perfect. It's good to apply the primer with a sponge-like object instead of your fingers as they might contract dirt which will mix with their makeup while you're dabbing it on. Try to cover as much as your face as possible if you have irritated skin. Yeah, pose you sexy beast. Now it is time to paint the structure lines for the Killer Croc face and neck. I am using the tag body paint in black. When stroking the lines, don't push too hard on the brush as you want to create a cleaner, sharper line while it's running down. The thing about these lines is that they're randomised so there's no need to copy my strokes exactly on your face as the end product will look really similar. Also try and experiment with different stroke sizes with your brush or if that's too difficult, switch between brushes. For the neck, try to link the strokes from your chin as closely as possible while drawing down your face. After doing the neck, go over and draw more structured lines in areas you think need more detail, as well as fix up lines that may need fixing. Yeah you go girl, draw them sexy curvy lines. Once you've drawn enough structure lines, it's time to start shading the parts inside the lines with black eyeshadow. I am using the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studios. What I have experienced with this eyeshadow is that it runs so smoothly on your face without pushing down too hard. Make sure when shading the face, try not to push too hard on the eyeshadow as you don't want to overpower the structure lines. The eyeshadow also doesn't need to come off perfectly shaded as there will be layers of scales added on top of it. Alright guys, now for the scales. Yes, this is probably the most time consuming part and the effectiveness of it is determined on how long you take to differentiate the scales. As you can see in this scene, I am trying to randomise the scale size by drawing a variety of different size scales all over my face. If you are short on time, the best way is just to rapidly push the white dots all over your face and neck. After applying the white scales, you want to add some black ones to create more diversity. I tend to draw the black dots in areas I feel are more isolated or need a bit more detail. But voila! There you have it, that was the face tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.